financial analysis and its tools financial statement analysis the process of reviewing and evaluating a company's financial statements such as the balance sheet or profit and loss statement thereby understanding the financial health of the company and enabling more effective decision making is called financial statement analysis financial statements record financial data however this information must be evaluated through financial statement analysis to become more useful to investors shareholders managers and other interested parties it can also be defined as the process of identifying financial strengths and weaknesses of the firm by properly establishing relationship between the items of the balance sheet and the profit and loss account financial statement analysis is crucial for parties inside the firm and parties outside the firm as well parties having significance of the financial statement analysis are top management labor unions trade creditors lenders investors researchers etc goals of financial statement analysis the goal of financial statement analysis is to measure the current profitability and operational efficiency of the firm and to determine the power of the firm to repay its debts in time methods of preparing financial statement analysis financial statements give complete information about assets liabilities equity reserves expenses and profit and loss of an enterprise they are not readily understandable to the interested parties like creditors shareholders investors etc thus various techniques are employed for analyzing and interpreting the financial statements a number of tools or methods or devices are used to study the relationship between financial statements however the following are the most important tools which are commonly used for analyzing and interpreting financial statements comparative financial statements common size statements trend analysis ratio analysis cash flow analysis now let us understand the term comparative statements in a simplified manner from the given two statements which one of them is easy to understand and compare obviously the statement to the left let us analyze the reason for the same the statement to the left has similar items listed adjacent to each other which means it is much easy to compare them against this the statement to the right contains exactly the same data but as they are not listed in similar order it is difficult to arrive at any conclusion instantaneously thus comparative statements are financial statements that cover a different time frame but are formatted in a manner that makes comparing line items from one period to those of a different period an easy process the comparative statement lines up a section of the income statement and balance sheet with its corresponding section from a previous period changes that have occurred in individual categories from year to year and over the years are easily noted in case of comparative financial statements not only comparison of increase or decrease in assets liabilities incomes or expenses etc is shown but the percentage of increase over the previous period is also indicated such comparison facilitates identification of trouble spot in a company's workings and taking necessary corrective actions the comparative profit and loss account presents a review of operating activities of the business 
The comparative balance sheet shows the effects of operations on the assets and liabilities, that is, change in the financial position during the period under consideration. Increased only by 40%, whereas purchases in the corresponding time frame have increased by 60%. This indicates that the company may be spending heavily on purchases as compared to sales. Working Notes Similarly, if we compare the debtors and creditors of a company, we arrive at the following results. This indicates that the company has tried to recover its money, but could not repay its loan. Common size statements. Common size statements are used to compare financial statements of different size companies or the same company over different periods. The common size statement does not reflect exact figures for each line item. Instead, the structure of the common size statement uses a common base figure and assigns a percentage of that figure to each line item or category reflected on the document. A company may choose to utilize financial statements of this type to present a quick snapshot of how much the company is collected or generated revenue is going towards each operational function within the organization. The use of a common size statement can make it possible to quickly identify areas that may be utilizing more of the operating capital than is practical at the time and allow budgetary changes to be implemented to correct the situation. Other benefits of common size statements. Here is an example for better understanding. Format of common size statement. A quick look at various steps to be followed while preparing a common size statement. Here is an example for better understanding. Working notes for the same are as shown. Trend analysis. The financial information can be examined by calculating the drifts in a series of information. Trend analysis determines the direction upwards or downwards and involves computation of the percentage relationship that each item bears to the same item in the base year. In trend analysis, we learn about the behavior of the same item over a given time period. To calculate trend analysis, the following steps should be followed. Here is an example for better understanding. The following example would clearly state the method of calculating trend percentage. We would consider sales, purchases and administrative expenses of a company for three years and calculate the trend percentage for the same. Working notes for the same are as shown. This implies that sales have been increasing over the years, whereas purchases are decreasing. Also, administrative expenses show an increasing trend. Hence, the company needs to exercise caution for any further increase in expenses. To summarize, financial analysis refers to an assessment of the viability, stability and profitability of a business sub-business or project. It is performed by professionals who prepare reports using various ratios that make use of information taken from financial statements and other related reports. These reports are usually presented to top management and serve as one of their bases in making business decisions.